大家都知道从日内交易赚钱，看了我很多的视频呢，大家也对日内交易产生了浓厚的兴趣。但是呢，日内交易并不是像你们想象中的有那么几种而已。那我所做的呢，其实只是美股和期权而已。在日内交易的整体的市场里边，有非常非常多种，比如说像外汇，比如说像虚拟货币，比如说呢，像这个期权和期货，还有很大的这个不同。那即使是在这个股票里边呢，我们也有做多和。和做空这两大部分，那即使是在这个期权里边的 option 也有非常非常多的这种玩法，而且呢，在一个 ticker 股票上面，你赚钱的方法、赚钱的点和赚钱的时间也完全不一样。那这个到底要怎么样去详细的分？必须呢，先找出来你个人的这个时间、兴趣和爱好，还有你擅长什么。而且呢，比较建议大家呢，如果你不去学习简单的一些初级的。这些教程，比如说外汇是什么，甚至股票是什么，期权是什么，到底是怎么样交易的话，其实你是选不出来你自己比较适合，甚至你喜欢的一个交易的手法和手段。那一开始的时候呢，对于初级的学员呢，可能你们要学习的东西会比较多，整体的金融的概念呢和整体的市场啊等等这些东西呢，其实是要必要去掌握的。但是呢，对于日内交易来说呢，基本上我们是看得多。短线当天或者是一周，再长的话也不会超过这个一个月的时间，所以呢，基本上对这个公司的基本面的了解并不是有那么大的需求。那在这里呢，如果你是不懂英文的，甚至是对这个美国或者是其他的外国并不是特别的了解的小伙伴，其实你也一点都不用担心，因为呢，做日内交易来说呢，基本上是不太需要了解。这个公司的一些基本面的详细的资料，但是一些概要的话，你还是了解的比较好，因为以后不管是你做任何一种金融衍生品的这个交易的话，你还是要要一定的这个 knowledge， 也就是个这个知识点，不然的话，在你今后的日内交易的这个路途中和生涯中，会有一点点会走弯路的。所以呢，我想接下来的一些视频呢，几期都是跟大家来分享关于日内交易所有的金融衍生品。的一些构造底层逻辑和到底适不适合你，尽量用最简单的语言，小白也能听得懂的。而且没有做过日内交易市场的这些小伙伴们来听，你到底是适合哪一个？那赚钱呢，不只有一种，那金融投资呢，都是有一定的风险的。希望大家一定要小心谨慎。那今天呢，我们呢就来学习在日内交易中，其实呢赚钱最快的一种，我们就是这个 shorting。做空，那做多呢？大家都知道，就是买低卖高。那做空其实到底是什么东西，并不是像你想象中的那么难。那今天呢，我们又请到了我们的学校的中级老师，北美的做空大佬，百分之九十五成功率的 David， 来跟我们大家分享一下做空到底是什么，做空到底有多少种 ，maybe 哪一种是很适合你赚钱的。在新的一年里面，希望大家都学会一个新的技能。新的手段来给大家呢和自己创造一个更多的被动收入。Welcome, David. Again, then today's video we're going to cover something about the short selling. I know you are the best short seller I know in the world. <laughs> so, but for the Chinese audience, they still don't know what is short selling is. Can you explain a little bit? Okay, so short selling. So、mm -hmm. When stocks go too high, based on some on unjustified, it's like no reason. I look for little to no reason why a stock goes up.、Mm. You know, when you buy a stock, it's it's really good for it to go three hundred percent up. You're happy, right? Right. And、uh, that's good. If someone buys a stock, goes three hundred percent up, I hope they make money from it. <laughs> But then it we if it goes up for no reason, three hundred percent up, and there are stocks in the market that go up three hundred percent for no reason,、mm -hmm. I look to short sell it. So short sell it means. I anticipate. I'm looking for it to come down because it's it's not justified. It's not correct that it that it it went up so much. So by short selling, the brokers, the same brokers that you can buy a stock, you can、mm -hmm. short sell them. So the、mm -hmm. broker, they lend you a share that you don't own. They lend it to you. There's a fee. <laughs> there's a there's a fee, and the broker makes the money from the fee. It's a it's a small fee if you're right. But it, you know, if you're consistently profitable doing it,、mm -hmm. this fee doesn't matter. It's just the cost of business. Yes. So you have to know what you're doing.、Mm -hmm. If you don't know what you're doing, now not only are you losing money from the trade from the stock, but you're also losing money on fees,、mm -hmm. and that's not good. So that's why, if you're educated, 
with short selling, uh, you can you have a big advantage because the stock that goes up a lot, mm -hmm. it's gonna come down. You know, so so I always was attracted to short selling because like whatever I, I like the general rule of mm -hmm. whatever goes up must come down, and it's like usually things go up really slowly and they crash really fast. Okay. So yeah, that's 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 what short selling. Yeah. That's the profit you're taking when the yeah. stock is going down. Yeah. Okay. So for example, a stock goes from one dollar to three dollars that's a profit yeah okay. so but if, when it crashes from three dollars to one dollar it's mm -hmm. the same as it going from one so if you buy a stock one dollar to three dollars mm -hmm. that profit is the same as it shorting at three dollars to one dollars so it's in the reverse okay you know? i i guess so many you know beginners was asking me what kind of broker are you using for the short selling okay so these are short selling uh, specialty specialty brokers mm. So I use several of them. Which one is the, I want to say best, yeah. best three. The best three, okay, the center point right now, I'm using a lot. Okay. The second one is Cobra, and Cobra, the third one yeah. is Guardian. No, Success Trader. Success Trader is the third, the third best one. Okay. So center point, Cobra, and Success Trader. Mm -hmm. And center point is my number one right now because they're, they have, it's the cheapest to trade with at the moment. The so they're, 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 mm -hmm. they're, they're always in competition with each other. So they're always, <laughs> they're always, uh, one's better for six months and the other one's better for six months. They're always competing, you know, and yeah. it's good. It's competition they, yeah, is good. They all good, but sometimes they change. Yeah. So better to have a one or two or three account in case you blow up your account, right? Yeah. You always, <laughs> you know, a rule of life is it, trading is like life. So it's like, mm -hmm. you always want to have a backup for everything. Right. If a backup bank account, backup plan for something, <laughs> uh, you I know, totally yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess the third question is when you're shorting, what's the price range you are, you know, targeting? I like um, things from two dollars, two dollars and fifty cents to five dollars. Two dollars to five dollars. Yeah, around. that's okay. my favorite. Yeah, and two dollars and fifty cents. The reason is because the brokers, uh, anything less than two fifty. Mm they require more money in your account to be able to trade it. Mm -hmm. So they require, it's called margin. They require more margin. So for example, if you trade a, a $1 stock, some brokers require $5. They treat it like a $5 stock. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So like instead, so it's a $1 stock, but the broker says you need as much money in your account as a $5 stock. So for example, if I'm shorting 1000 shares of a $1 stock, mm -hmm. 1,000 shares is $1,000. Right. Mm -hmm. But the broker says, no, you can't, you can't, you need, you need $5,000 in your account. So they treat it like a, uh, like a five, $5 stock. Because of going to squeeze. Yes. Because money. lower prices have more volatility, which means they move crazier. Yeah. And short seller love those stock. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so you can make a lot of money from it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Volatility is the name of the game. So for example, Apple and these other stocks, Microsoft, Google, Microsoft, yeah. takes forever to get like a 10% move one day. It's like, oh my God, Microsoft went 6%. Did you see it? Did you see it? <laughs> and, and it's like, wow, man. everybody's like, oh my God, this is crazy. And for me, like, uh, fi like, I, I don't even, like, this is a joke, you know? So yeah. I'm going, I want to, today I shorted, um, I shorted a stock that was up 150%. Yeah, I, I saw you always shorting those like 200, 300 you yeah, know, percentage. Yeah, a lot of volatility. Yeah, so. So, with um yeah so you with a small amount of money you could you can make millions in this kind of in this world okay so we are not going to talk about you know so many technical uh, tech things at this video but the only one thing for the short selling i think you mentioned is dilution so yes. can you mention a little bit what is most important thing about the dilutions in the short selling yeah so dilution mm -hmm. you think of it like uh like orange juice i use this analogy <laughs> a lot so when, when you squeeze an orange, it's uh it's very delicious. It has a lot of nutrition. Mm -hmm. is, is is very healthy. Mm -hmm. Now if you add water to the orange juice, it's not nice anymore. It gets nasty. It gets watered down. It's not nutritious anymore. So it's the same thing with uh stocks. So a stock when it's fresh, when it's new, it's it's uh it's it's healthy, and uh, it's it's good. It has cash. It has everything. You know, it's it's a fresh new company. Now. These small companies, 90% of businesses fail. They, mm. they start out really excited and nice and good, but eventually over time, they need to start paying the bills. They got to pay, like, for example, biotechs and pharmaceuticals. They got to pay their scientists. Yeah. They got to pay the secretary. 
You know, like when I was younger, my parents always said, hey, you're going to be a scientist. You know, he's gonna, <laughs> you know, everybody's, they always, you know, these are like professions they want you to do, like scientists, only that astronaut or something. Yeah. But these, these are, in these companies, those are, they got to pay those scientists. They need so much money. They got to pay, like the space companies, there's yeah. a lot of uh, smaller space companies. Mm -hmm. They need to pay the astronaut. They need to mm -hmm. pay. So these, these cost money. So what do they do to, to raise money? Because they don't just want to go bankrupt. Mm -hmm. They need to raise money. So a lot of times they raise money by selling their stock very cheap. So if their stock, they can, they can sell stock shares mm -hmm. that have, that don't exist. So if the stock is trading like at two, at, let's say three, $4, they can go to an investment bank and say, Hey, we want to sell you shares uh, on discount. Mm -hmm. Let's, we'll show you, sell you shares for 50 cents for 10 million shares. And our and it's a good deal for you because our stock is trading at three dollars. So you get to buy it at fifty cents, a whole ton of them. And you, but you got to give us cash up front, mm -hmm. and we'll give you all these shares. So that's what they do. Now they raised their the company is like happy for the next six months or a year. They they raised all this money, but the thing is, they sold all their shares on discount that don't exist to the investment bank or what to some, or to some investor. And then that investor, once they get those shares, they dump it. Mm -hmm. And when they dump it, the stock price goes down and it's like the orange juice. The, they added water to the orange juice and now it becomes a, the supply becomes more. And when the supply becomes more, it means the it's stock, not that much. Yeah, it's going and it down. goes down. Yeah, it so. it, it is remind me, to, I was doing the pharmaceutical ingredient business before. We have ingredients. And when you want to make money, you put a lot of, you know, dilutions. Yeah. And then you can sell like per kg more than what is concentrated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly the same con concept, I think. Right? Yeah. So, you know, a big concept of, of everything with stocks, whether it's day trading, investing, whatever it is, yeah. is supply and demand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the last one is, I know David, you have the conference coming on the March 2nd and 3rd. So, uh, maybe the, you know, the Chinese, uh, students around LA or California, you can come to the Little Tokyo. Is that Double Tree Hotel? Double Tree Hotel. It's, uh, it's around there, around right? There, yeah. We are, we are in front of the Bank of America. Now is U.S. Bank Tower. So can you talk about a little bit? What are you going to give in the conference? What they can learn on the conference? Okay, so the conference is three days, but so we have the, the VIP ticket is going to be all for all three days and a mm -hmm. dinner. Now, if you just want to come for the main event, which is Saturday, March 2, that is also a separate ticket, mm -hmm. which is, it's a, uh, you know, it's, it's just for the one day. So you have an option for one day or two days or three days, it's up to you. But um, the first day, we're going to come here to the U.S. Bank Tower after the market closes, so 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., Three and hours. Um, you can talk to David. Yeah, and so I'll, you have any I'll be here. Yeah. You'll probably be here too. Yeah, I'll right? be office. <laughs> in the office. Yeah, and the conference, I will be there whole day to uh -huh. help. And if you want to come to make any questions or talk to David or talk to me, I'll be there too. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah, and then Saturday, we have the whole event 9 to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we're going to a Brazilian uh, restaurant. It's very nice. Your, your um, favorite. <laughs> my favorite. Yeah, I, I like Brazilian uh, steak. And, um, and then Sunday, we're going to the athletic club for a mastermind event where, you know, we get to talk everything about trading. And it's like, whatever questions you have, I'm here to answer them. And my partner, Sam, is going to be there too. He's uh, one of the top mind, uh, high performance mental coaches in the whole uh, world. And for trading, it's a mental performance yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. So it's, this is very important. So not only... Am I going to be there? Sam's going to be there. We have some other traders that yeah. are my friends that are very good traders. They're all going to be there too. If you are new to the industry or you're trying to learn something about the short selling, I think this is the best opportunity and the conference ever. So the ticket is limited. Just, you know, uh, check the link below and then, you know, buy your ticket. We will see you there. Absolutely. And, and people from all levels, you know, do not get intimidated by anything. If you yeah. don't know anything, you're welcome to come. If you're, if you know mm -hmm. stuff, you're welcome to come. Everybody's welcome. Yeah. Okay. Then I see you there guys. See you guys. Bye.